In today's episode you will learn how to control the speed of a DC fan using IR remote, optocoupler and Arduino Uno Omega. In this tutorial you will also learn how to isolate the controller side from the load side. This tutorial covers number 1 finding the hex values of IR remote buttons, number 2 complete circuit diagram explanation, number 3 interfacing, number 4 programming and finally number 5 testing. So let's get started. The components that we will be needing for this project are number 1 Arduino Uno Omega, number 2 IR remote control, you can use any IR remote control, number 3 IR sensor, as you can see it has 3 male headers G, R and Y. G is the ground and will be connected with the Arduino's ground. R will be connected with Arduino's 5 volts and Y will be connected with the Arduino's pin number 11. Number 4 TIP 122 transistor. Number 5 10K resistors. Number 6 DC motor or fan. Number 7 330 ohm resistor. Number 8 LED. Number 9 jumper wires male to male and male to female type. Number 10 breadboard and 11 12 volt adopter. If you want to learn in detail about optocoupler or opto isolator or a photo transistor, then you should watch this tutorial link given in the description. Let's first start by finding the hex values of the IR remote buttons. We will be using the volume buttons to increase and decrease the motor speed. For this, connect the G pin of the IR sensor with ground. Connect the R pin of the IR sensor with 5 volt and connect the Y pin of the IR sensor with pin number 11 of the Arduino. We are done with the connections. Now let's discuss the program. This is the program written for finding the hex values of the IR remote. First of all, make sure that you download the IR remote library from GitHub and then paste it into the Arduino's library folder. I have already downloaded this library as you can see. This is a small program and can be downloaded from my blog page. Connect Arduino Uno and make sure that the right board is selected and also make sure that the right COM board is selected. Now click on the upload button and wait for a while. Now click on the serial monitor button. Now you can find the hex values of any button. Let's find the hex values of the volume buttons and save the values in a file. So these are the values that will be used in our final program to control the speed of DC fan or motor. This is EL817 phototransistor photocoupler or optocoupler or you can also call this opto isolator. Let's have a look at its datasheet. The EL817 series of devices each consist of an infrared emitting diodes optically coupled to a phototransistor detector. This is the schematic symbol. Pin number 1 is the anode, pin number 2 is the cathode. Pin number 3 is the emitter and pin number 4 is the collector. Its maximum collector current IC is 50 milliamps and collector to emitter voltage can be up to 35 volts. The forward voltage which is the voltage needed to turn on the infrared LED the typical voltage is 1.2 volts and the maximum voltage is 1.4 volts and its forward current is 20 milliamps. As we are going to control this optocoupler using Arduino you know and you know that the voltage available on any pin is 5 volt when turned on. This 5 volt can damage the infrared LED so for this we need to use a current limiting resistor in series with this LED. Let's find out the value of this resistor. From the data sheet the typical voltage is 1.2 volts and the forward current is 20 milliamps. Using the Ohm's law V is equal to IR. R is equal to V by I. R is equal to 5 minus 1.2 divided by 20 milliamps. 
so we get a value of r is equal to 190 ohms the nearest value is 220 ohms while at this time i have 330 ohm resistor so i'm going to use this resistor as you can see it needs 12 volt and 1.6 amps to control the speed of this fan we need a mosfet or a transistor which can handle 1.6 amps well i have tip 122 transistor lying around let's have a look at its data sheet as you can see this can handle up to 5 amps but we'll need a pretty cool heat sink as we need 1.6 amps uh, while this transistor can handle up to 5 amps so this transistor is gonna work just fine this transistor can handle maximum 100 volt DC and the emitter base voltage is 5 volt DC it means this transistor can be controlled using any microcontroller now we are sure that this transistor can be used to control this fan now it's time to have a look at its pinouts pin number one is the base pin number two is the collector and pin number three is the emitter this is the complete circuit diagram designed in Ketsoft Eagle. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs in Ketsoft Eagle, then watch my tutorials on the left side. As you can see, Y pin of the IR sensor is connected with pin number 11 of the Arduino. R pin of the sensor is connected with 5 volt of the Arduino, while the G pin of the sensor is connected with Arduino's ground. A 330 ohm resistor is connected with pin number 1 of the optocoupler and the other end of the resistor is connected with pin number 5 of the Arduino Omega. Pin number 2 of the optocoupler is connected with the Arduino's ground. This is a DC power jig. We will be using a separate 12 volt DC power supply for the DC fan or motor. A 12 volt wire is connected with a fan or motor positive wire. The motor ground wire is connected with the collector of the TIP122 transistor while the emitter of the TIP122 transistor is connected with the ground. Its TIP122 is a bipolar junction transistor and it's a current control device so we will need a transistor of value 10 kilo ohms connected with its base while the other side of the resistor is connected with pin number 4 of the optocoupler. Another 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected with pin number 4 of the optocoupler and the other side is connected with the output of the 7805 voltage regulator output. This 5 volt will be connected and disconnected with the TIP122 base through this optocoupler. As we know that this transistor can be turned on using 5 volts. The input of the 7805 voltage regulator is connected with the 12 volt. This is a freewheeling diode connected in reverse bias with the positive and ground wires of the DC fan or motor. As you can see clearly the left side has no physical connection with the right side and provides a perfect isolation. The only medium of communication is the light. Don't connect the Arduino's ground with the load side ground. Now let's start the programming. We start with hash include IR remote dot H. Declare constants. Integer receiver is equal to 11. Pin Y of the IR receiver is connected with Arduino's digital pin 11. Declare objects. IR receive. IR receive and then receiver creates instant of IR receive. This is a function and takes one argument as the input which is the receiver. Decode underscore results results create instance of decode underscore results. Declare variables. Integer fan is equal to 5. The optocoupler pin number 1 is connected with pin number 5 of the Arduino which is the PWM pin. Integer F speed is equal to 100. Fan speed the default speed is 100. As you know my friends every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the white cell function and while loop function. Serial dot begin 9600 activate the serial communication at the baud rate 9600 IR receive dot enable start the receiver and pin mode fan output as the form fan is an output device. Then starts a wide loop function if IR receive dot decode and results this instruction means have you received an IR signal then there's a function translate IR and then irreceive.resume function which is used to receive the next value 
declare a user written functions while translate IR takes action based on IR code received. Switch results dot value case 0x FB 54EA 5B volume up to increase the fan speed 0x is used for the Higgs value. This is the value which we find. Now due to the transistor connections as the value decreases the speed increases it means the fan will be off at 255 and will be at full speed when zero. So F speed is equal to F speed minus 20. So F, F speed less than or equal to zero F speed is equal to zero. Analog write fan and then F speed serial dot print ln F speed. This instruction is used to display the values on serial monitor. If you don't use this function, it won't affect the program. There is a delay of one second and then break. Then there is another case which is for the volume down key and uh, so this will be used for decreasing the speed of the motor so here you can see the f speed is equal to f speed plus 20 so then there is a f condition if f speed greater than 255 the f speed is equal to 255 and log right fan and then f speed serial dot print ln f speed delay 1000 which is equal to one second then break and the default is serial dot print ln the other button if in case you press any other button and there is there is a delay of uh, one uh, of half second which is uh, 500 milliseconds now let's watch this project and action So my friends, all the corrections are as per the circuit diagram which I explained in a very detail. So this is the infrared sensor which is uh, the, it, it's Y pin is connected with pin 11 of the Arduino and uh, it's G pin is connected with the ground and uh, the R pin is connected with 5 volts of the Arduino. While the optocoupler is connected with pin 5 of the Arduino which is the PWM pin of the Arduino. And... Uh, this is a DC female socket and I will connect a 12 volt adopter with this. Over here I'm using a 705 voltage regulator and this is the DIP122. So let's power up the Arduino Uno. You know. So as you can see the Arduino is on now let's connect this 12 volt adopter. And now you can see the fan is uh, rotating, its default speed is 100, it's not at full speed so, so by pressing the volume up and volume down keys we can control the speed so, so I'm just uh, reducing the speed. So as you can see. And now when I press the volume up, now you can see the speed is increasing. So as I keep pressing the volume up key, the, the speed increases. And now you can see the fan is rotating at uh, its uh, highest speed. Now we can reduce the speed by pressing the volume down key. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.